A wedding begins on time. Weddings in Shenzhen are held not only at weekends. Almost every day, there are couples walking down the aisle. As an immigrant city, Shenzhen doesn't have obvious characteristics like other southern cities. But as for weddings, Shenzhen follows the southern tradition of feasting at night. After all, the rhythm of the day is too fast for romance. There are only 50 chairs at this wedding, which was the number decided upon by the bride and the bridegroom carefully. They don't want too many participants. They can't invite too many participants either. Young people working alone in Shenzhen do not have the wide interpersonal networks which would enable them to invite many participants. People choose to celebrate alone. As the night comes, Shenzhen puts on its finest and begins to take on another look. Behind each window, there are people working overtime for different reasons. Working six days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., the so-called 996 working system has long been standard practice in Shenzhen. Today, 996 has been replaced by 716, namely working seven days a week for 16 hours a day. According to taxi hailing and takeout applications, Cushing Science Park is the building with the longest overtime hours in China. On an overpass 500 metres away from Kershing Science Park, Wang Pong is considering how to sell his red envelope sharing software to the clients that he will meet later. If you get close enough, you can hear them talking about a business which could generate millions of yuan per minute. Yangmo 那好,那如果我多给你点呢?比方说两千万,三千万。Not every idea will attract investors. 不现实,为什么呢?我们没有必要把我的时间和精力花在你这里。你解决不了我的问题的时候,我们一切谈的都是无效的。明白。明白。In Shenzhen, there is one boss for every four people. There are 46,000 institutions, a third of China's total, that provide investment to new bosses. The most diligent entrepreneur can join five interviews a night, but the most promising entrepreneurs can impress five investors in one interview. Perhaps Wang Pong will convince the next investor. After a day dealing with clients and investors, entrepreneur Wang Pong's real life just begins. The night is still young for Wang Pong.
At 10 o'clock, an auction comes to its climax. Thank you. Wow, thank you. This is Henry. In 2018, 77 people from Shenzhen were included in the Huron Global Rich List, following only Beijing, New York, and Hong Kong. Nearly 70 million yuan is raised that night by 300 celebrities and business leaders from around China. The proceeds from the auction will be donated to poor areas to educate children. Over the past 10 years, Shenzhen has donated more than 1.5 billion yuan totally to help the poor. Most of the donors are from private enterprises. Shenzhen people still remember the old saying, once you are successful, you should help others. In the early morning, Shenzhen finally returns to tranquility. In the city's very heart, a 24-hour bookstore has been open for 12 years and has not closed for 100,000 hours and accepts sleepless people in the city. The reasons for them spending the night in the bookstore vary. Students come here to do homework. White-collar workers come here to do their reports. There are also people who just simply come to sleep here. People maintain a tacit understanding for each other, remaining a quiet and warm stranger in a safe area. Today, He Yarong has finished reading a book and is writing down her ideas on a piece of paper. This is a small game. He Yarong's ideas will be printed in a new book with the help of Huang Wei, the bookstore's owner. As people buy this book, the ideas will become a sign connecting each other in an ocean of knowledge. Shenzhen has the most readers in China. Over the past 30 years, Shenzhen has consistently ranked first in terms of the number of books bought per capita in China. In addition to books on finance and economics, which are the best sellers in Shenzhen, Shenzhen people also love books on success and psychology, as well as novels. After the hustle and bustle of the day, the city also has to find a Neverland to rest itself in the dark of the night. In a few hours, Shenzhen will be bustling again. All year round, it runs full steam ahead, all the way to a future that no one can predict. <laughs>